Hey there, this is your host, Dr. Lori Friesen, and you're listening to episode number 164 of Beginning Teacher Talk. Just because you're a beginning elementary teacher, there is no need for you to struggle like one. I'm dedicated to being the mentor for you that I wish I had when I first started teaching. In this podcast, we talk about all of the -the behind-the-scenes stuff about teaching you really need to know but didn't learn when you were in university. And we share the most amazing resources, tips, and strategies out there so you can become the teacher you've always dreamed of being. Let's start the show. Well, hey there, teachers, and welcome to episode number 164, where today I am going to share a bite-sized classroom management hack. I am loving these little hack episodes. I hope you're enjoying them as much as I'm enjoying recording them and sharing them with you. Uh, We're trying something new on the podcast right now, if this is one of your first hacks that you're (laughs) running across. Every weekend, I'm releasing a second episode of the podcast, where I'm sharing a quick actionable classroom management hack that you can just grab and use right away inside your own classroom. So I really hope that this second mini episode is going to give you more help and inspiration and support inside your classroom, especially because today we're going to talk about something that is especially frustrating for so many teachers, getting those papers back without students' names on them. So I think you're going to love this one. It's so good. Also, if you haven't taken my brand new quiz yet, you've got to do it. It's totally free and you can get a curated beginning teacher talk playlist that is specific to where you are on your teaching journey. So maybe you're just getting started. Maybe you're a student teacher or you're just about to start your student teaching experience. Don't worry. I've got you covered. I have a playlist just for you. Or maybe you've just graduated from college you're on the job search, maybe you're doing some substitute teaching and you're getting ready to start teaching in your first classroom or you're hoping to get your first classroom. I have a podcast playlist for you as well. Or maybe you've taught for a year or two and you've got a little bit of experience behind you. You've been running your own classroom, but maybe things aren't going as smoothly as you'd like them to. And you'd love some help with streamlining and improving what you're already doing. I've created a playlist for you as well. So this is a really fun quiz and I love it because it takes less than two minutes for you to get your results. And seriously, all you have to do is answer four questions and you've got your personalized playlist sent directly to your inbox so you can listen to it whenever you want to. Think of it as one of the most important resources that you can tap into to continue growing as a teacher and becoming the teacher you've always dreamed of being. So head to drlauriefriesen.com forward slash playlist to get the quiz now and to download the episodes that are going to speak exactly to where you are right now in your teaching journey. Again, that's drlauriefriesen.com forward slash playlist. And I'll also link to where you can take the quiz in inside the show notes for this episode. Okay, now on to today's awesome hack. If you are sick and tired of papers getting handed in with missing names, this one is for you. This hack is so simple, but so effective. So if you have students who are handing in papers without names on them, place some highlighters in a cup buy your completed work basket. Students get to highlight their name before turning in their work and you don't have any more nameless papers to try to grade. Kids love to use highlighters. That's why this works, especially when they get to choose their favorite color to highlight their name. And it's a quick and easy way, a visual way to ensure that your papers always get turned in with a name on them because you can see that bright color at the top. However, just a word of warning, if you decide to implement this hack, Ensure that you label your highlighters with your name using a Sharpie first so they don't walk off with your students or so they're easy to identify as yours in case a student like accidentally walks off with one of your highlighters. Also, man, this is another exciting thing I have going. I know teachers and I know how much we love our dollar stores. So I've started something super fun inside my beginning teacher talk TPT store that I think you're going to love. It's called Dr. Lori's dollar store. So I've realized as I've started recording these hacks for you each week that I can make it even easier for you to implement many of the ideas that I'm sharing with you. If you have access to just simple downloadable templates for many of the hacks. So when you check out my Dr. Lori's dollar store, you're you're going to see that I'm creating very simple templates for you to grab and go with for only a dollar each. So you can implement these hacks quickly and easily inside your classroom like tomorrow. So I'll link to Dr. Lori's dollar store in the show notes for this episode so you can check it out. 
Also, I'd love to know what you think about these classroom management hack mini episodes. It would really mean a lot to me if you would be willing to take a screenshot, tag me on Instagram at Beginning Teacher Talk, and let me know if you've tried this hack in your classroom. And if so, I'd love to know how it worked for you. Also, if you have a great hack to share, I always love getting great ideas. Message me on Instagram at Beginning Teacher Talk because I'd love to hear it or share it publicly inside our Beginning Teacher Talk private Facebook group where you're going to be part of an incredible community of new teachers who are all dedicated to supporting each other. All right, my friends, I hope you have a fabulous week. I will be here with you again next week, same time, same place with another hack. And remember in the meantime that just because you're a beginning elementary teacher, Teacher, there is no need for you to struggle like one. Bye for now.